Hello dear friends and welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to make this video uh, for a very long time, but it is only now that I'm actually making it. So uh, if you've been participating in any way in today's world, uh, you know that uh, there's been a big conflict going on between Russia and Ukraine. And if you listen to the Western media and to the Ukrainian media, um, you would think that Russia is this bad totalitarian state that's not only bad for Ukraine, but bad for its own citizens. So you would think that up until now, it would be, it would have been better to live in Ukraine as opposed to Russia. Well, in this video, I want to compare actual statistics, uh, Western statistics, not Russian propaganda, that uh, measure the uh, and evaluate the quality of life and welfare of the actual um, regular citizens in all kinds of countries, but in our case, in Russia and Ukraine. So I wanted to use um, uh, and show uh, different statistics and compare the actual um, uh, welfare, uh, quality of life of Russia, of the Russian citizens in Russia and Ukrainian citizens in, in Ukraine. Um, so please stay with me because the results may well surprise you. Let's get started. So, we're comparing the backwards dictatorship uh, that's horrible to people called Russia and the democratic progressive Ukraine. And all of these uh, measurements were taken, like all of those statistics, uh, were, um, uh, the data was collected in 2021 before the war began. So, um, let's, uh, I, first of all, I know that GDP is criticized. Uh, it's criticized because it's uh, people are saying how it doesn't reflect the actual well-being of regular citizens. But since GDP is such a classic, let's just begin with it. Let's start with it. I know that the main point of this video is to uh, compare other statistics more reflective of the uh, well-being of regular people. But let's, because it's such a classic, let's start with GDP. Uh, and so, here's the map, again, 2021, before the war, Russia is yellow, next to Russia there's also this another, this other totalitarian state called Belarus, the Union State of Russia, basically. So this is Belarus, and here is Ukraine. So, color yellow signifies 10 to 20,000 per capita GDP. Um, so that's Russia, and then the totalitarian Belarus, it's a little bit orangey, this is, this is Belarus color, that's 5 to 10,000 GDP, and now the free, progressive, and democratic Ukraine, that's bright orange, that's 2.5 to 5,000, so Russia is doing about almost 10 times better in terms of GDP than the progressive Ukraine. But of course, who cares about GDP? Let's better look at more representative measures when it comes to the quality of life of regular people. Uh, and one of probably the most famous, uh, well-known and trusted measure when it comes to that is the Human Development Index. Uh, human, the Human Development Index is a summary measure of average achievement and key dimensions of human development, uh, meaning a long and healthy life, also being knowledgeable and having a decent standard of living. Uh, so this is GDP, oh sorry, HDI, and in total, in total, there are 189 countries, so 190, almost 200 countries, so keep that in mind. Uh, so let's... This is page one, and speaking about page one, let's also uh, look for Canada. So Canada, the best country in the world, how dare you criticize it, doesn't make it to top five, doesn't even make it to top, top ten, in fact, it doesn't even make it to top fifteen, it's number sixteen. So now let's find Russia. Russia is fifty-two. Again, uh, the Ukrainian propaganda is saying how little Russians are making, 26,000. Um, uh, this is life expectancy, expected years of schooling, mean uh, years of schooling, 
And now that so Russia is 52. And by the way, the totalitarian state of Belarus, that's the union state Russia, uh, governed by a dictator is 53. Now let's find democratic Ukraine. Don't see it here. Oh, here it is. 74. 13,000, by the way. So, hmm. I mean, you can make your own conclusions, I guess, here. And now, let's move on to the Legatum Prosperity Index. It is also um, a well-known measure, so uh, beyond GDP, a better way to measure uh, the well-being uh, and the quality of life of regular people is the Legatum Prosperity Index, and it measures countries based on many characteristics. So, and so green, the, in total, there are 167 countries. So the greenish part is good, yellowish is so-so, and then the more red it gets, the worse it gets. So, again, various criteria. Let's start with the, let's start with here. Um, so, the first um, pillar uh, is natural environment. So natural environment um, pillar measures the aspects of the physical environment that have a direct effect on um, people in their daily lives and changes that might impact the prosperity of future generations. Let's compare the totalitarian backwards Russia, and by the way Canada again not top 5, not top 10, barely top 15. But let's look at Russia. So, Russia is 70 out of 167. So again, um, the top half still. So, when it comes to the environment that I just described, oh yeah, and let's look for Ukraine. Ukraine is 78. So, 8 spots below Russia. Not too well for such a country that's so much more progressive and non-backwards. So, 71 in terms of environment, and Ukraine is 106. So that's like more than 30 spots below, uh, 35 spots below Russia. Let's look at education. Uh, the education pillar measures enrollment, outcomes, and quality across four stages of education, pre-primary, primary, secondary, and tertiary education, as well as the skills of uh uh, in the adult population. So, Russia is 22 very well, like it's green. Um, so it's doing just as good as like the top country, look. Well, the here, the top. So, it's doing remarkably well in terms of that. 22, let's look at Ukraine. 40. 40. 22, 40. Well, maybe that explains why uh, those Ukrainians who I try to talk some reason and common sense into, they refuse to um, look at the actual numbers. Maybe the education level has to do with it. That they just refuse to, to recognize the facts and read the statistics. Now let's look at health care. Health. The health pillar measures the extent to which people are healthy and have access to the necessary uh, services to maintain uh, good health, including health outcomes, health systems, illness and risk factors, and mortality uh, rates. Another um, common line of the Ukrainian propaganda is that in Ukraine people are healthy and in Russia everybody just drinks and dies. Uh, very early in life. Let's look if it is the case. Um, Russia is 89. Ukraine is 104. 10, uh, 89, like 15 spots below Russia. So, also not doing so well. Um, living conditions. That's an interesting one. Living conditions pillar measures... Um, the degree to which a reasonable quality of life is experienced by all, including material resources, shelter, basic services, and connectivity. 
again, the Ukrainian propaganda always, and especially now, is saying how the Ukrainians are enjoying such good living conditions compared to Russia, um, and that the soldiers who came to Russia, uh, to, to Ukraine, to fight are surprised that the, the Ukrainians have toilets at home and not outside on the street. Like, this is crazy. They, they, they're saying that in Russia, they don't have, many people don't have toilets at home, which is like wild, like it's crazy. But let's look at the numbers and facts. Um, so, Russia is 62, Ukraine is 76. So that's, tw what, 14 spots below Russia. So the facts are telling us that if anything, it is the other way around in terms of living conditions. Um, again, because of this part, I don't think those Ukrainians who are certain uh, and just want to believe uh, what they, what they want to believe, what the Ukrainian TV is telling them, that they will listen to this or... Yeah, this is for, I'm, I'm making this video for normal people um, who are not willing to be brainwashed and just not willing to believe what they want to, who want facts. Uh, next, economic quality. The economic quality pillar measures how well the economy is equipped to generate wealth sustainably and with the full engagement of the workforce. Let's see how engaged the workforce is in Russia. Uh, 37 compared to Ukraine 75 oh my god that's uh, 38 spots below Russia oh, 37 is compared to 75 also not very um, reflective of a progressive democratic non-backwards country uh, especially in comparison to Russia. The next one is infrastructure and market access. The infrastructure and market access pillar measures the quality of the infrastructure that enables trade and distortions in the market for goods and services. Another common line of the Ukrainian propaganda is that in Russia, the so especially like now, they're saying how the soldiers are also surprised that in Ukraine, there are roads, and in Russia, they, most of their roads are not even paved. Uh, they're mud roads. Well, let's see. Let's see the hard, ruthless numbers. Um, Russia is 58, and Ukraine is 74. Again, I hope you understand. 58 to 74. So that's oh, 16 spots below Russia. Again, since it's the Western statistics, if anything, they would be skewed in favor of Ukraine. And still, not very comforting for those who want to believe uh, that propaganda. <clears throat> Enterprise conditions. Enterprise condition pillar, conditions pillar uh, measures the degree to which regulations enable businesses to start, compete, and expand. So, in the bloody dictatorship of Russia, uh, as, as the story goes, uh, entrepreneurs are in grave danger because anybody can just take away uh, what they've earned and take away their business. Well, let's look. And in Ukraine, it's like an open democracy, open to uh, developed markets of any country, you know, and encouraging business and entrepreneurship for everyone. Uh, let's see how. So Russia is 79 and Ukraine is 72. Okay, 79, 72, that's seven, sorry, eight, uh, 79, 72, that's seven spots. Ukraine is only like seven spots above Russia on this one. That's not very um, reflective of, you know, the the contrast that they make, uh, that they pretend that there exists between Russia and Ukraine, 72 and 79. And that's the first measure so far in which Ukraine slightly outperforms Russia. Um, in other areas, it's like tens of spots. 
uh, tens of points in favor of Russia. Let's look at this one, investment environment. The investment environment pillar measures the extent to which investments are adequately protected and readily accessible. Yes, again, same, I think uh, it's a lot of the same um, concepts, uh, very similar ideas. Let's see how Russia is doing. Russia is 77. I think it's even like when I was talking about, uh, you know, uh, businesses being taken away in, in the bloody dictatorship of Russia. If you're an entrepreneur, you're chased away. Um, this is actually, this measure would be more reflective of that. So, uh, 77, Russia is 77. Ukraine is 123. So that's, what, 40 places below Russia. 77, 123. So the only measure is this one, where Ukraine only ever so slightly outperforms Russia. Now let's look at social capital. The social capital pillar measures the strength of personal and social relationships, institutional trust, social norms, and civic participation in a country. Uh, yeah, talk about social norms. Let's, okay, let's compare. Russia is 62, Ukraine is 102. Wow, I think this is the worst difference in, um, in favor of, not in favor of Ukraine. So 62, that's almost two times below Ukraine almost two times below uh, Russia in terms of this. And I mean, it's not surprising. It says social norms, right? Um, yeah, uh, well, given the number of death threats I received, like the most outrageous ones with details, yeah, social norms aren't exactly... Uh, I mean, there's different people everywhere, of course, but as a general rule, social it's pretty representative of, of what the statistics are showing us. Um, um, person, social relationships. Yeah, again, well, the Ukrainian propaganda, of course, says that Ukrainians are more united and um, it's to do social norms, civic participation. Like, the, the Ukrainians are more active and, and Russians are passive and almost every way, uh, especially like politically, well, the statistics are telling a different story. And social norms, like, I mean, the messages I received, it's like, swear word upon swear word, nothing but swear words, death threats. Yeah, uh, that shows. Governance. Governance pillar measures the extent to which their, um, there are checks and restraints on power and whether governments operate effectively uh, and without corruption. Russia is 109, not too good, and Ukraine is 77. So this is the only measure where Ukraine like uh, significantly outperforms Russia, like 30 spots. But it, like at the same time, this is a contradiction. Look, uh, the extent to which there, uh, this measure shows the extent to which there are checks and balances and whether governments operate effectively without corruption. So, I mean, uh, given all of this and this and GDP, well, okay, GDP doesn't count, but given all of this, uh, I don't see the effectiveness really doesn't show that much. Personal freedom. Personal freedom pillar measures progress towards basic legal rights, individual liberties, and social tolerance. Um, I think here again, when it comes to freedom, 130, Ukraine 73. Yes, Ukraine outperforms Russia. But again, I'm, I'm saying like freedom and governance, they don't seem to reflect in <laughs> Ukraine. Like, is, you know, the um, goal, the point of a democratic government that's effective is the, the whole point is to have your citizens enjoy a good quality of life. But apparently, Ukraine has good government, lots of freedoms, but it just doesn't translate into anything that has to do with the quality of life of the Ukrainian people. They're still way below, uh, way below Russia in terms of that. And finally, safety and security. Safety and security pillar measures the degree to which war, conflict, terror, crime uh, have destabilized the security of individuals both immediately 
and through longer lasting effects. I think like this one is actually pointless at this point because again 2021 before the war now it's unfortunately uh, here I'm not gonna make fun of Ukraine yeah it's very unfortunate but um, in terms of everything else in 2021 I kind of am making fun because it just the numbers uh, uh, contradict the Ukrainian propaganda so blatantly but yeah unfortunately with the war it's, it used to be 134 and Russia 138 again Ukraine only four spots above Russia but yeah this one can just be scrapped for Ukraine at this point but so yeah um, anyway the point is the bloody backwards dictatorship seems to do to provide a better quality of life for its citizens than the progressive democratic european ukrainian government so if some ukrainian person tells you how awful it is in russia and how much better you um, the Ukraine is doing or if you are a sane normal Ukrainian person which there are many of and the Ukrainian propaganda is telling you how which it does all the time by the way for years and years and years I mean I've seen those programs uh, horrible uh, saying that Russia is like basic sorry backwards country that's literally living in the stone age just don't don't believe it like it's it's BS um, sorry um, so let me know in the comments down below if the results have actually surprised you or if you have something to add or to object. And uh, the one thing I have to say is that those results are not an anomaly. It's not just the year 2021. Those re kinds of results have been consistent for at least a decade. So 2009 onwards. Um, and when it comes to reasons for that, there are very concrete reasons why, even though Ukraine is a democracy, uh, when it comes to the well-being of the actual people, it's not as good. And it has to do with the market reforms that Ukraine never uh, really performed. So in terms of economy, in terms of its uh, the government, the, how the government is organized, Ukraine is kind of more progressive. But when it comes to the market, it's actually way closer to like the government share in the market is much higher than in, in Russia. So it, Ukraine never actually performed, never implemented the free market reforms, which Russia implemented in the 90s. And this has a lot to do with what we've seen. Um, so it's not propagate, like there's actual reasons for why this is happening. And this is just one of them. There are many, let's not, uh, let's not get into this uh, in this video. So yeah. Um, let me know in the comments down below if what you think. And see you very soon in my next video. Thanks. Have a good day.